Katibu Dr. Abdullah Hasnu Makame. Dr. Makame, you're welcome to the Parliament of Tanzania. Um, and before you are the voters, in the event they are convinced with what you're going to say, which you have only three minutes to express yourself, but yeah, ask for the votes from them, since you have indicated interest in going to represent Tanzania to the East Africa Legislative Assembly. Please. Thank you very much, uh, Right Honorable Speaker for giving me the opportunity to address uh, this August House and request for my votes. Uh, right Honorable Speaker, I'd like to request your indulgence just for a few seconds to greet uh, the August House in Kiswahili. And uh, the greeting is to tell the, to greet the Honorable Members of this August House. Shikamoni, waishimi wa shikamoni. Waishimi wa Thank you very much, Right Honorable Speaker. Having said that, Mrs. M M M Madam Speaker, <clears throat> I am a member of the East African Legislative Assembly who was very fortunate to be elected by this August House in 2017. So coming here for the second time is an opportunity to me, a privilege which many people did not receive, Mrs. M Madam Speaker. So I'm very thankful to your house. I'm thankful to my party, Chama Chama Pinduzi, for endorsing me with uh, majority votes. Madam Speaker, during my tenure as a member of the East African Legislative Assembly, I served as the chairperson of the Tanzanian chapter for the first two and a half years, and subsequently I served as the, um, and which I'm continuing to serve as the chairperson of the Committee on Agriculture, Tourism, and Environment and Natural Resources. Uh, this this uh, task uh, additional ass uh, assignments that were given to me by my colleagues because uh, they thought I could uh, deliver some more work, additional work, on, on behalf of them. So I did that work, and I'm quite sure, Madam Speaker, you never received any complaints. But also, uh, during the tenure in the, in, the, in the East African Legislative Assembly, we did some work. We did uh, pass some bills, we did pass some... Uh, uh, make some resolutions, but more also we, we have some social activities, maybe uh, in terms of games, and you know that uh, Madam Speaker, we participate Thank in you games so much. They have, they have heard you. They have heard you. And I'm not seeing any member raising up to ask questions, so I believe they have understood you. 30 seconds. Where? I don't see any hand. Okay, Honorable Abdallah Mwinyi. Thank, thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. As, as a, Dr. Makama is a second termer, I didn't want to leave him. Let him leave before he can answer a few questions. Uh, Dr. Makama, could you please uh, explain to this August Assembly what would you say are the fundamental challenges that you have faced during your first term of office and what needs to be done to ensure that those challenges are alleviated. I thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Um, Wait Honourable... a second. You what? have to be called before you start speaking. Uh, Dr. Makame, please respond to the question. Thank, thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Uh, this is a question uh, asked to me by a member emeritus of the East African Legislative Assembly. He served for 10 years there. And uh, it's, a, it's a very good question, I would say, uh, because uh, in life, you don't, you, you don't live without challenges. So we have some challenges. And uh, specifically, we had some challenges with regards to the integration of ESC. And uh, we are looking at 
creating an environment that would uh, enable the participation and the functioning of the private sector. That is a general issue because we are seeing uh, the challenges in business. Much as uh, the business people are doing business, but there are issues of non-tariff barriers. That's a general issue in the ESC. But in terms of us, also, Mr. Madam Speaker, with our uh, the, the, the chapter, we need to have a um, closer uh, uh, closer links with the National Assembly. I'm not saying that we don't have, but uh, we'd like to improve the the links with the National Assembly so that uh, we have. Uh, Greater and for greater cooperation and report more more frequently. That's uh, I think the short response. Sir. Thank you so much. And the members, I think they have understood you. Thirty seconds to wind up. Uh, thank you much, Madam Speaker. Now, uh, having said what I have said, the only thing which is remaining is to request uh, your August House through you, Madam Speaker, but the members as well, and your own vote, Madam Speaker the vote of the Right Honourable Prime Minister and uh, my former uh, Minister of uh, Foreign, Honourable Dr. Ndubaru. And all members, uh, you know, because this, uh, he groomed us uh, while we, we were in the ESC. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you. Thank you so much. You may now take your leave. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Katibu anayefuata